All right, so you are welcome to the continuation of this Zygzo uh, firewall setup. And um, today we want to do a couple of policy testing on the firewall. So already I logged into the firewall and uh, just uh, to show you when you get into the firewall, we can quickly go to um, configuration, uh, which is here. So we're heading to security service and uh, let's look at application patrol. Uh, so we've got a couple of policy here for application patrol. This is like uh, filtering web apps. And there is a default policy. If we look at that default policy here, we're going to see a couple of uh, applications that is being dropped. So Tort Web, uh, Express rather, Express VPN, Login and uh, Hot VPN, etc. So all of this, look at the action being dropped. So what I did was uh, create my own application control policy. So this is the policy I created. The second one here, app. Basically, you have to go to add, then give it a name and select a category. So what I did was block Zoom. Um, so let's just name it Zoom. And um, on the description, we're going to name it block Zoom Web. All right, so Zoom falls on the, so you can see different categories here. Um, search application by category. We could also search application by name. So if you do not know which category the application you want to block falls into, so you could search by name. And the firewall is going to show you what category that application belongs. So if I click on search, and you're going to see Zoom here falls under which category? Instant messaging. So I can put it by um, search an application by category. And now we'll look for instant messaging. There we go. When I click on instant messaging, it's going to show us a host of applications that fall under instant messaging. Blackberry Messenger, um, Badu, Amazon Chim, and the host of other applications. Have to go down to the bottom looking for Zoom. And we'll have to go to the next page here. And then here we'll have Zoom. There's number 121 on the list. Tick that guy and click on save. All right. So we have added Zoom here. And uh, what we can do is select that guy. And go to action and it will either allow it to be forwarded which means the traffic is allowed to that website we can also drop the traffic or reject reject simply is going to reset the tcp connection so select drop and you can see the action has moved to drop now uh, before it was on forward so we've got to come back down here and click on save again are you sure you want to save yes we want to save all right so it's going to take us to um security policy field because we've got to attach this policy to a firewall rule before it can work so i'm going to select the first policy which is allowing my land traffic to get to the internet and i'm going to click on ok okay so we just created an application um sorry uh, application control policy called uh, blog zoom on the web and we have attached it so uh, just to create a policy, click on add, select the specific category that that policy um, of the application you want to filter belongs. And uh, it's pretty much very straightforward. What I want to point out here is if you go to security policy and policy control, this is where we define what is allowed to go through the firewall. So you look at the first policy we have here. We'll go to edit. You see that is allowing anything on the LAN, um, which is from, which is the source, to go to anywhere except the Zygzo firewall, what any other destination, the internet, uh, this traffic is allowed. So look at the configuration, application patrol with the uh, policy we just created, we named it Zoom, um, is being attached to this policy. So as traffic are moving from the LAN going into the web, uh, zoom.com is expected to be blocked. So we are going to click on OK and apply here. We'll head over to the web. And already I visited this website before, zoom.us, have to refresh. Okay, so we just uh, hold on, uh, refreshing the browser. Okay, so the refresh it appears to be taking more time here, just running. So let's uh, just uh, hang on. All right, there we go. So you can see this site can be reached. Of course, uh, the um, app patrol that we apply the policy is actually taking effect. So what I'm going to do now is go to my firewall rule again, that is on the um, security policy, policy control, go to edit, and uh, I'm going to remove that policy. Let's put it on none. So for now, we are not filtering any application. Go to OK, and here we apply. 
the changes and I'll come back to this page again and we try to reload and see what happens and the moment you try to reload our website you could see it opens up so it means that uh, pretty much the uh, Zygzo firewall under the app patrol is working really well so we have disabled the zoom policy that um, blocks the zoom web application okay so we could there is a default policy that is already in the firewall could attach that default policy back in that default policy there is no zoom um, on the list of block applications so you see all the application being dropped here majorly tunneling application which is a uh, VPN application. Okay, so Zoom not found on the list. So even if I go ahead and attach this default policy to the security control policy, it's not going to affect the Zoom website. So select the LAN to one policy and come down all the way here, application patrol. If I attach Zoom again, then the website for Zoom would not be reachable anymore. So put it on default and we go ahead and click on OK and click on apply. So even if I refresh here, it's still going to open because Zoom is not on the list of that default policy. So that's our um, patrol, how we can quickly set up a patrol. So I do hope you benefited from this tutorial and thank you for watching. See you in our next video.